Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So today I've got the wonderful job of repotting a couple of very spiny steno cactus. First is this heteracanthus. Shouldn't be too bad repotting this one. But this one, yeah, this one's gonna be fun. So I want to get these two repotted because I've started to get all the plants I have in terracotta pots into plastic ones. And one of the reasons for that is, well, this. <laughs> this one's probably going to be a pain to get out of this pot. Getting plants out of plastic pots is much easier than getting them out of these ones. I'm hoping I put some plastic mesh over the drainage hole when I potted it because I can poke something up through the drainage hole and the plant should come out relatively easy. Second reason I'm switching over to plastic pots is space. I use square pots for the majority of my plants and these take up less space than having rows of round pots on the shelving. I've already made space on this shelving for almost two extra rows of plants with the ones I've already repotted into square pots. Third reason is because of the type of mix I use which is very gritty and dries out fast. I'm finding that it's drying out too quickly in terracotta pots for my liking. There's a couple of other reasons as well, like if there's an issue with the plant and you need to check the roots, it's much easier just to pop the plant out of a plastic pot than it is a terracotta pot. Another issue I found as well is the roots stick to the sides of these pots as well, which can make it difficult to get the plant out without breaking a bunch of the roots. You'll probably see that when I unpot these two. So we'll start with this steno cactus, get the more difficult one out of the way first. The easiest way to get this out of here would simply be just to break the pot. I don't really want to break it if I can avoid it because smaller sized terracotta pots like this can be difficult to come by sometimes. And I will reuse them for other things absolutely no way to grip this plant either. A really spiny cacti you can use some crumpled up newspaper, some cardboard or a cloth to wrap around the plant to help with repotting or of course some gloves. But with this particular plant I don't think any of those are going to help much and another thing is I don't want to break any of its spines off if I can help it. Anyway I know I'm waffling a bit but that's simply because I'm not looking forward to repotting this plant. So like I said earlier I'm hoping there's some mesh in here because what I'm going to do is push this paintbrush up through the drainage hole. If there's some mesh in there, the plant should come out pretty easy. If not, then the brush is just going to go straight up through the center of the roots and not really help at all. So here goes. Fingers crossed this comes out easy. I will use a towel just to support the plant as well in case it does pop out so it doesn't drop on the floor or anything and break any spines. So I just apply a bit of pressure. Oh, there we go. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I did put some mesh in this pot, which definitely helped getting the plant out. Not too many roots stuck to the inside of this pot. You can see a few at the bottom there. So I'll just remove a lot of this old soil. Both of these plants are actually in my really old mix with the molar clay cat litter. Pretty decent roots on this. Alright, let's unpot the other one. So I'm going to do the exact same thing. Hopefully this one pops right out as well. I might not have put any mesh in this one. The brush is going straight through. Right, I'll just get some of this top dressing and some of the old soil out, see if we can loosen the plant up a bit. I didn't think this one would give me any trouble, but it's coming out one way or the other. Try this again. Ah, perfect. I actually think there is some mesh in here. Yep, there is.
quite a few roots stuck in this pot. That's probably why it was a bit hesitant to come out. So same thing again, get all this old soil off the roots. Pretty decent root system on this one as well. So the mix I'm using this time is a little different from my usual. Still using the John Innes compost and pumice, but instead of horticultural grit, I'm going to use Kiyodama instead and replacing the lava rock with zeolite. Kiyodama is a nice lightweight alternative to grit and has better properties as well. And the zeolite I'm using because I don't have much of the lava rock left, but it has identical properties to the lava rock anyway. So of course I'll be going into these square plastic pots, a bit of mesh over the drainage holes to help prevent the mix from falling through, and begin filling. This isn't actually too bad to hold underneath the spines. Still pretty vicious though. Make sure we're nicely in the centre and begin filling. As always using our trusty skewer to gently put the mix down. That's that one done. I'll get the other one potted up and then top dress them both and we'll be finished. I'll just top dress them now with some lava rock. This is pretty much the reason why I've not used it in the mixture. I do like using it to top dress the plants. And there we go. Wasn't too bad actually repotting these. I thought the Confucius was going to give me way more trouble. But having the mesh in there definitely helped with getting them out. So as always after repotting, I don't water them for about a week. Just gives any damaged roots a bit of time to heal. Care for these plants is very easy. I'd even say they're a good beginner cactus. Only issue I've had with a couple of them is spider mites and the occasional mealybug. They can be a bit more prone to those. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this repotting video. There'll be a few more throughout the summer. Still got a few in terracotta pots I need to unpot. Nowhere near as spiny as these ones though. So yeah, stay tuned for those. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You will be safe and well and I shall see you next time. Salam, pop alam. Bye for now.